I'm here today at Gatwick Airport and today uh, I'm flying with British Airways and we're going for a long flight today. We're off to Antigua in the Club World. I think it's the old Club World because at Gatwick they don't get the new ones. Um, but either way, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a really nice flight. Chance to get some summer sun in the middle of January. Um, so it'd be great if you came along with me. Uh, so come along, let's see how it goes. BA are using the North Terminal at Gatwick as the South has been closed for a couple of years with Covid. The main check-in was pretty busy but as we were in club we got to use the club desks which were much quieter. A combination of having the right documents and the Verify app saw us through in no time and off we went to security. Fast Track or premium security comes with a ticket and the one here simply drops you at the front of the normal queue. In the south terminal it's a dedicated area. Into the wonderful world of duty free. After navigating the endless curves of duty free, it was time to find a lounge for a bit of breakfast. So I just had a lovely breakfast in the number one lounge, which is the one at Gatwick that British Airways is using at the moment. Because they're going from the north terminal, the south terminal where they normally fly from is closed. So they're taking over the number one lounge, which is like going back four or five years, they used to use this when they closed their North Terminal lounges um, before they moved. Um, but anyway, uh, time is moving on, we're just about to head off to the gate, go and see the plane. I can't wait to get on this flight, I can't wait to get up in the air uh, in a lovely flatbed, maybe have a little bit of champagne on the way and um, yeah, just enjoy the trip. Uh, The number one lounge ain't too bad. Hot and cold food, a bar with a bartender. They don't do free pour alcohol here. Not a bad place to spend some time before your flight. So we're heading to the gates. Ours is gate 102. Wonder how far that is down in the depths of Gatwick's. And there's our plane over the big bridge at Gatwick North. I think last time I came over here I was going to Cuba on TUI. G-V-I-I-P. Boeing 777, 200ER, should be nice. Because this bridge, as you can probably see, you get aeroplanes going underneath it. There's a Baltic one, it's coming in, it's quite strange. Right, better go catch that one. There's a nice Swiss as well. The queue for check-in is, is quite huge. Um, I don't know whether they're doing groups or not, but it doesn't look like it. There's no signage for group one, group two or whatever. So it looks like we're in for a wait. There we go. Thank you. 
Hello. You are hitting two. Bravo, you're going to take the first hit for me. Thank you. Thank you. That's my wife as well. Take two. You have the laugh if you want. No, no, I'll take two. One, two, nine. Perfect. Thank you. Perfect. So, number two is here, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. So, my seat for the day. <laughs> Old but still comfortable. Bottle of water and an amenity kit. I'll have a look at what's in there later. There's outside. And in row two, you got three full windows, which is really nice for yourself. So you can look out from different angles. Well, the same angle, just different windows. If you like doing that. Welcome drink got a nice glass of champagne I know it's only nine o'clock in the morning but you know it's, it's five o'clock somewhere cheers oh, yeah. first thing in the morning champagne wait you up a little bit <laughs> um, but yeah so I think the flight is about nine hours long something like that um, heading out to Antigua and then the plane actually carries on to Grenada but we're getting off in Antigua it's a bit like a bus really isn't it so yeah really 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 excited about it this trip it's been two years really since we've been uh, anywhere long haul and the last place we went to was Antigua um, but this actually looks nicer than the last one uh, I know it's an old um, seat in terms of you know the newer stuff that's out there but it's still a very very comfortable seat uh, and yeah it looks quite bright and fresh on here which is good so we'll sit back enjoy the champagne and see how the flight goes I expect we'll get there on one piece um, although I'm not sure what my legs are gonna be like when we get there So we're just pushing back on our way to Antigua. Um, yeah, so far so good. A nice welcome drink of champagne. Uh, took my order for my main drink. I've got, got my menu, which is upside down. But got a menu. Food looks all right as well. Because those that know me know I'm a bit fussy with eggs and things like that, but it doesn't look too bad. Got hummus and preserved lemon for starter. Roast pork belly, tikka masala, or cauliflower risotto for main, and then a cheese board after that. A bit of Shropshire blue, an afternoon tea, pastrami. Uh, yeah, that looks all right as well. Very good. I'm looking forward. Um, and a nice breakfast in a lounge, which is the number one lounge. Uh, yeah, and it's all quite cloudy here. Um, temperature is probably about four degrees. Let's see what it's like when we get to Antigua. I'm sure, it'll be a little bit warmer. Captain just said it's about 25 degrees. That'll do me. <laughs> There's the aeroplane bridge we walked across. Going. <laughs> Go on, lad. 
Put your foot down. Let's get out of here. Hello sunshine. Nice glass of champagne's just turned up with some nuts. Some hand roasted in London. Cashews, giant corn. What's all that? It's got nuts. Corn isn't nuts, is it? Oh well. Cheers. Alright, let's have a look what's in the amenity kit, shall we? See if I can do this one-handed. <laughs> Probably not. So we have an eye mask, some socks. That's handy. Have some spa pulse point. Uh, it's lavender stuff. That's to help you sleep, I think, and relax. Leaflet about the white company. <clears throat> toothpaste and toothbrush. Me and I brought my own. Some earplugs there. Oh, and champagne, but that didn't come in the bag. For this, we have. What's that? Oh, a nice bit of lip balm. That's good. I'm still running on the Ethiopian one from about four years ago. They last forever, don't they? The old chapsticks. And something to restore. I think it's going to take much more than a bit of gentle moisturiser. Yeah. Very good. And there was a pen in there as well, but I robbed that to do my entry forms. Um, the thing about the pens, if you go into, we get them out of the British Airways thing, you have a little bit of plastic over the nib of it, so at first you think it doesn't work, you just pull the plastic bit off and you'll be alright. So yeah, nice little amenity kit, I'll put it with the other ones that I've got. <laughs> so this is where we are, uh, it's going to be a shorter flight today than normal because apparently we're going to pick up some jet stream which is going in our direction will make it a lot shorter you normally get it for going uh, west to east but uh, we've got it going west so that'll speed us up we'll get to Antigua earlier than what we thought very nice outside of the window it's just sun and cloud there's not a lot out there oh there's an engine yeah we've got an engine that's good that's still there wing yeah it's still there as well <clears throat> I think it's time to watch the film let's close the old shirt <laughs> lunch has just arrived nice bit of belly pork um, There's some hummus and stuff, some cake, cheese, nice bread roll and some butter. That looks delicious. That is my kind of food. Not just that. All of it. Wonderful. Let's see how it tastes. You know what? I don't think that on any flight I've ever been on, I've actually eaten everything that was served. But today's lunch on British Airways was outstanding. The quality, the flavour, 
everything just suited me apart from that one little bit of stinky cheese it started to get too much blue cheese but yeah that was banging it's now absolutely stuffed I'm gonna have a couple of drinks and probably have an afternoon nap um, I am really enjoying this trip the crew are great excellent keep topping me up with uh, champagne I might switch to beer in a bit or even water take it easy go a long day still uh, yeah because the day's what four hours longer yeah. So, yeah it's really great it's good to see BA back and he's going to be back on BA in Club World it's uh, I was worried about the their cabin is one of the smallest um, club cabins that they do. Uh, there's only what four rows of eight, two, two, yeah, four rows of eight. So that's um, not 32 club seats on here, but yeah, it is spot on. Spot on. I recommend it to anyone, but yeah, we'll see. We've still got quite a few hours to go. That's lunch out of the way. I'll see what my nap's like. <laughs> uh, that's what I call a top up. <laughs> I need to take it easy, I think. A quick visit to the loo. Thankfully, there is one in there. Lots of creams and lotions. A sink, some towels and a mirror. It's an adequate place to do your business. We're about six hours into the flight. Um, it's been a really, really, really good flight. The food was great earlier on. Uh, since then, I've managed to watch a film, had a good nap um, and just got a drink. We've had a bit of turbulence, so the seatbelt signs are on. So a nice chap at the front brought me a, a Brewdog Jetstream, which is, uh, well, it's Brewdog. And it's, uh, yeah, it's made for British Airways. A quick sip of it, it tastes quite nice. So, yeah, it's very good. <clears throat> very good. So, yeah, it should be hitting Antigua in just over a couple of hours uh, outside of the window blue sky a big engine and a wing there's no land it's just Atlantic Ocean yeah. it's a hard knock life as they say in the meantime so yeah I'm going to deal with this Take the brew dog, close the blind, keep the sun off it, and enjoy. Cheers. Not long after, afternoon tea was delivered with a couple of sandwiches, a scone with jam and cream, and a little bit of Battenberg cake. Of course, the biggest worry is how to put the scone together, so I did it both ways just to be safe. Okay, we're, we're slowing down, we're in our descent into Antigua. Uh, so far it's been absolutely brilliant flight, the crew have been fantastic, the food has been good, really really enjoyable, I really like the food. Uh, even the afternoon tea, um, yeah, I did scones both ways up, for the lovers and the haters of which way ever do you do squat scones, that'll confuse them. Um, but yeah, coming into VC Bird, uh, should be on the ground in about 10 minutes or so. Uh, hopefully it'll be nice and simple getting through the airport. I've heard reports of it being either very, very busy or very, very easy. So we'll, we'll see what happens there.
sir. Hey, cheers. Have a good one. Thanks. So we made it to Antigua, uh, coming through immigration, COVID security, not a, a customs and all that sort of stuff. It wasn't too bad. It took us about 10, 15 minutes, got our bags all ready. Uh, so now we're in the country and we're gonna head off and hopefully have a fantastic couple of weeks out in the sun. Uh, thank you very much for coming along. Uh, I would definitely recommend coming to Antigua on British Airways. A Club World product, even though it's the old plane, it was really, really comfortable, really good food, really good service from the cabin crew. Uh, what more can I say? It was brilliant. Just what you expect from British Airways. So thanks for coming along uh, and hopefully see you on the next one.